So I figured while I was, uh, you know, here supercharging, I, I would also take the opportunity to kind of explain to you what the uh, the the Chatmo adapter, the the Chatmo uh, standard, or I guess interface is, because um, there's, you know, if you take a look at this thing, there's just a ton of pins, and it's kind of like, well, what the heck is this? Um, so I figured, you know, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting to look at that the, the standard's open, so you can you can look at the pinouts and everything for what exactly everything is, and I, I think I'll probably pop up a little graphic of uh, the pinout just so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, if, if we look here, we've got uh, one, two, two of these gigantic uh, thick gauge cables. Um, and those are the positive and negative rails for the power supply. So these are the ones that are carrying the enormous amounts of DC uh, current. Um, that so that's that's effectively that's why they're so thick because they have to handle so much power. Um, and then we also have these two kind of connectors, top and bottom, um, and those do a lot of the kind of negotiating and handshaking with the with the cars, whether it be Tesla or, or any other car. Um, and it's got a little redundancy built in just to just so uh, you know you can't damage your car which is good because a battery is extremely expensive um, so if if we look um, there's a couple redundancies in terms of uh, there's charger start and stop oh geez I'm pointing at the wrong one on the on the bottom set of four pins and on the top set of four pins there's there's effectively two pairs of redundant um, charger starts start stop uh, wires um, so that you you the car never, you know, if one goes out, it's not going to charge. It's, it's to make sure that everything is, you know, definitely fully functional um, before it'll charge. Um, and then also there's a, a, one of the small wires is a connection check. Um, and that is just to kind of make sure that the, you know, I think it has to do with like making sure the car uh, knows that it, it can't drive away. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. that. That That's just how it looks like it's described. Um, uh, then we have just a basic ground wire, which is you know telling you know giving the car a ground ground for the communications bus so that it knows uh, you know what ground is when it's looking at voltages uh, coming over the line. Um, and then there's also a set of of two pins on the bottom um, for the CAN bus um, uh, to communicate with the car. Um, oh geez, I'm not sure what CAN bus is off the top of my head. I'll put it in the annotations. Um, but it's it's a generic kind of computer oh is it computer address network bus um, and the whole car works off of that this the car is has a bunch of, of processors and uh, you know kind of separate devices on it which communicate uh, over the CAN bus um, and the charger being one of them or the rather the Chadmo station being one of them and the supercharger does something very similar the supercharger has a very similar kind of handshaking and various sets of pins that it uh, that it uses to negotiate with the car um, and so the CAN bus is just used to communicate with uh, between the car and the charging station and that may be to like turn it off you know maybe if you want to turn your remote uh, via the remote app you want to turn off the uh, the charging remotely it may be that you know the CAN bus from the the receiver will then send that out um, over the CAN bus and you know let the station know to stop charging or, or vice versa maybe something like that um, so that's kind of like the the short short and sweet of it when it comes to the Chadmo um, adapter um, so you take all these pins and then it goes over to the Tesla standard you know setup one day I'm hoping that they'll release something so I can figure out what is actually in this um, it almost kind of looks like there's fiber optic on the top for communication. I'm actually pretty sure that it's fiber optic for the top two big plugs, but I could be wrong. Fiber optic on the inside, and then potentially that's also the the, the heavy duty, you know, the the wires, the thick gauge wires that control the uh, the, the the charging, the the high voltages and high currents. And then I believe the bottom wants to be communication and ground as well. But that's total speculation on my part. That's just kind of me guessing at what, based on what I see. Um, and actually what's kind of interesting is that uh, a lot of people don't know it, but the, um, the European charger is actually a very different uh, connector. It's not like this. I think it's a five or seven pin. It's, a, it's I believe it's called the Menekis. Um, sometimes mispronounced as Meineke connector. 
Um, it's a standard across all of Europe, which is actually pretty cool. I, I think it's pretty awesome that they they have that. Um, and I think it's it's actually a lot it's a lot larger. It's a bit bulkier, and part of the reason for that is that they can handle um, or that 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 type of connector handles uh, three phase going right to the car, which you know the you know in America and Canada I think. Um, we we don't have three phase typically going directly to any of like even in our houses you know we only have two phases uh, coming in the service um, so the, their connector is actually a lot larger but it's a standard which is cool because then you'll have stations which are built specifically to use that cable that not only Tesla uses but a bunch of other EVs uh, use which which I think is pretty awesome um, so that's kind of the long and short of the Chadmo adapter. It's a big, bulky son of a gun, but I absolutely recommend it. And I think I've said that probably enough uh, already in this video, but it, it, I absolutely recommend it because it'll it'll get you out of a pinch if you don't have enough charge, which I've definitely found myself. So, um, hey everybody, uh, sorry for the awkward transition. I was originally going to make this video a part of the uh, public charging options, but I figured it probably deserved its own own video. Uh, so if you enjoyed watching the Chadmo adapter. Uh, explanation uh, if you have any other questions or any comments uh, you know feel free to leave that in the comments and I'd be glad to, to answer it for you if there's anything else you want to see on the channel um, you know feel free to throw that in there too I think the next video I'm gonna do is probably the auto park feature uh, perpendicular and parallel park um, so yeah if you like the video um, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll try and bring you some more good stuff so have a good weekend guys bye bye